Let's go. Alright, so this is for Porto Downs. That's Lost Wind. Any other side quest to do, period? Okay, no, there isn't. Let's just do uh, this one first. Go to Orabel Downs. Oh, that's a lot of uh, quest markers. Alright, I'm using Garuda now. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Mine. Oh, wait, you have to hold X in this game? You have a tree sack while holding X. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. Ba -ba -ba. Fine. Very nice. More of the lost supplies. This one was all the way back here. Ba -ba -bum. Chuck and I haven't run into any enemies yet. Will there be enemies in this area? Here we go. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. Come this far. Might as well ask around. Up, 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 um. Go, Clive, go. There you go. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Okay, so everything else is here. This is still for Red Leather Day. This is for Needs of the Many. Okay, so both of them are on Lost Wing, essentially. Which works out really well. We're just getting both of those side quests done. Hello. I'll have you know, Mal in the village entry is no small task. There's plenty of unsavory sorts in these parts looking to get their thieving claws into what's ours. They're probably not gonna let me jump over this fence, but I just gotta try. Oh yeah, they have a hill. How boring. They don't let you just jump off things in this game. Oh, Dragon Quest 11 of them. Back, are you? Did Master I am fun? back. The shad's all salted and smoked. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. But he's waited long enough already. Oh, this poor dog. Out of trouble. Oh, this poor dog. It's it's no Torgal, but it's kind of cute. Ugh, a whole day on the line and they're still not dry. Uh, and then go over this way. We can talk to Master Quentin. What's this? We haven't much, but you're free to look. Oh, just a store. Doesn't look like there's anything really to buy. Price, I have 24 of them. That's orchestra and it costs so much money. 
Lionheart tonic. Yo, Lionheart FF8. Love it. If you get get me one of these, since I have a lot of gill. So it took a tilt between the wardens of light and dark to finally drive the royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say that fields of fields of bellness. Drink with knee. Meat with knee. Is this game okay? Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Sure thing, dude. Search for Randall and Lambert's Pass. another cup, Daddy. Another cup, Daddy. So I think before we go back to the hideaway, I'm gonna go look for this Randall Sounds in safe. Lambert or Lobert's Pass. Yeah, that seems like the best thing to do. There's no like obelisk that can take me really close. It's all good. Let's go look for this dude. Yeah, this looks like the right way. Just follow the path and we'll get there eventually. Uh, um. Hey, good work, dude. Good work keeping guard. Keep doing your job. The Norman Valley. Are you all right? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> reckless sod insisted on drawing them off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. We have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Let's go. Slay the Beastmen. Beastmen is in multiple. Valley Matter. Goblins. Oh, these things. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Probably because we haven't seen them in so long. It gouged up. Charge us up, charge us up. Oh, dude, don't we have, like, that ignition? Oh, let's go, parry. I'm too good at this video game. Ignition, go. Oh, no. It lasted so long, I didn't get the perfect dodge. Nice. Into the deadly embrace. Yo, you good there? All right, Jill's fine. She, she got herself handled. How do you feel about over limit? Or limit break, whatever. You know what I meant. Burn to the ground. Dude, I love ignition. It's so good. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, my dodge was too late, Rip. Nice, let's go. Oh, nice heavenly strike. 
I don't think it's actually called a Heavenly Strike, but like, you know, it, it's basically the Heavenly Strike that Shiva normally does, so I just call it that. Ooh, 10k damage, pretty good, pretty good. Get Torgo up in here. A big swing. Yep. That's the one he does like multiple. I can never time it though. I'm stuck in this corner that I don't want to be in anymore. All right, we're good, we're good. Get, get me out of this corner. Thank you. That was annoying. Ignition, go. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Jill. Blow away. Time for gouge. We take that hit. It's fine. Nice. Don't my dude. I would just need one of these and then you're done. Never mind, you lived. I can't believe it. Too slow. There we go. All right. <laughs> hate dodging that club move. It's so difficult. It takes so much effort. Spoils, huh? 24 XP, not bad. Bone necklace. And then some Y, right? Which is pretty good. All of it for crafting. What a shock. And by what a shock, I mean not so much of a shock. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Oh, inform Quentin of Randall's fate. I like taking Obelisk back instead of like, you know, walking back. Look it up there. Oh, go around. Okay. That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been steep? Enough to the beach. Ba -ba -bum. I'm setting fast. They'll all be back. All right, Quentin, I'm back. I have some unfortunate news to inform you of. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened, and I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave, though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. And you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Quest has been complete. Needs of the many prioritized the needs of the few, or however that saying goes. Okay. Well, now is a good time to go to Sid's hideaway to report this last side quest. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Wanted to send a message. Maybe I should just own up. Oh, there you are. 
I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. No more skulking about in the shadows for me, then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Sweet as honey. Red Leather Day. Nice. Any other side quest to do? Doesn't look like there are. Wouldn't it like tell me here? Like, like, doesn't it like count the side quest in the area? I thought it did. Maybe not though. So I guess we should talk to Karen here in the hideaway. Move on to story if there's no other side quest to do. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Oh, okay, and then just straight to the shop. I don't need any of this. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint tie is Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Bum, 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 bum. Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again, this time due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's God's for you, isn't it? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home, with a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. There's... Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. 
the veil. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Alien reports unlocked. Okay. What is this? Alien reports are now available for viewing by speaking to Gaut at the Alien report counter in the Hideaway's Mess. These reports compiled by Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across Velistia. Interesting. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav.